Hey there friends, it's Kodiak here, one half of the team behind Legacy Gaming, and today we're diving back into Grounded for another showcase. You guys enjoyed the Spider Fang video so much, I figured it would be fun to try again and see if you guys enjoyed more videos just like that. Today we're going to be discussing the ultimate range setup, at least at this point of early access. Up until patch 0.2.0, ranged combat has been pretty much been exclusively to cheese. We see comments pretty often about players just hiding on a rock and shooting targets until they're dead, and let's be honest, that's a pretty bad player experience. With the introduction of the Crow, new craftables, and mutations, we have to look at ranged combat from a whole different perspective, one where the numbers look pretty darn good. Now there is no real way for everyday players like you and me to test DPS or outright damage, but we can count, I hope. I wanna start with a quick comparison. Patch 0.2.0 introduced a new arrow into the mix, the Feather Arrow, but Grounded, at this point, lacks information about the potency of this item, so I decided to test it out for myself, and what do you know, the difference is noticeable. For this test, I took off all my armor, did not apply the Sharpshooter mutation, and used the same bow. As you can see, target shot with the Feather Arrow died much quicker than target shot with the Standard Arrow. For the second test, I wanted to compare the same build with the Sharpshooter mutation, and without the sharpshooter mutation. Here, I did the same thing. No armor, same weapon, engage. With a tier three mutation active, it took 12 shots for me to kill a ladybug with standard arrows, and eight shots for me to kill it with feather arrows. Without the mutation, the numbers increased. 14 shots with standard arrows, and nine shots with feather arrows. Needless to say, I was a little stunned by the results. The sharpshooter mutation has three tiers, and while they're not hard to unlock, it does take a bit of time with the third tier unlocking after killing 200 enemies with a bow. Sharpshooter gives you a nice boost to your range damage, but it's not as impressive as you might think. Sure, we trim some time off our kill with just the mutation, but in the grand scheme of things, that's not overly impressive. The real game changer in this scenario are the armor pieces, and more specifically, the new marksman cap. Now, time for another test. For this one, we strip down to the bare minimum once again. No armor, apart from the cap, no mutation, same bow. The gap was a bit wider here during the cap test. Using standard arrows, we were able to bring down a ladybug in 11 shots, and using feather arrows, we were able to bring it down in seven. At this point, you've seen everything individually, but put it all together and what do you get? A viable range solution for dealing with any enemy bug. Up until this point in the game, Grounded has heavily favored melee combat, but with the introduction of patch 0.2.0, that balance shifts. The Ultimate Archer is about maximizing your range damage potential, combining the best available options in the game, and it's a compound experience. By utilizing the Insect Bow, Feather Arrows, a maxed out Sharpshooter Mutation, and the Marksman Cap, we have our first real range toolkit in the game. For the other off pieces of armor, I recommend the Aphid Slippers, which gives you a boost to your movement speed. Because you're breaking any set bonuses already with the Marksman Cap, it's good to get a little utility into the mix, and the Aphid Slippers fit the bill. For the chest piece, it's all about defense. Hopefully, in a ranged build, you won't be taking too many direct hits, but it's bound to happen. This slot is really up to you. I personally prefer the Spider Armor, but the Ladybug Armor is just as good. With your gear all squared away and your mutations active, it's time to show off what this loadout can do. Ranged combat never felt quite right in the game, it was more used as a crutch than a viable option. But with the recent changes, ranged combat is starting to come more in line with melee. I think there's potential to push ranged combat even more, especially with flying enemies like mosquitoes coming down the line. I like where we're going, but I don't think we're there quite yet. If you're more of a visual person, check out this chart we made documenting the entire test. As you can see, the loadout we're recommending is vastly superior, and with more content coming our way each month, you can imagine that this build will continue to get better. We hope you enjoyed this showcase of the Ultimate Archer in Grounded. Remember to keep it here for in-depth Grounded content as we continue through early access. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss a video. And also check out the link below and join us on Discord. Our community of nearly 6,000 is spread across dozens of great games, so join today and become part of the legacy. My name is Kodiak, and on behalf of Livid and myself, thanks for watching, and play on.